All right, boys, we are back. I told you I'd be back today. We are going to get some trades done, all right? We will, but look at this. I was looking at the transaction. Look, Edmonton acquired Henrik Sedin from New Jersey, and they didn't give up any of their forwards. They gave up Joseph Engelhart and a first-round pick from Edmonton, all right? So now Edmonton has Nail Yakupov, Jordan Everly, Taylor Hall, the Nuge, uh, Henrik Sedin, and uh, Hunter Shinkaruk, all right? Holy crap, filthy forward lineup for Edmonton. So we'll keep an eye, we'll keep an eye on the Edmonton Oilers as the year goes by. All right, but in this video, we got to make some trades. That is right. Um, so what we want to do first, let me just go to GM options, roster moves. All right, let's just uh, get the players that we want on the team up just so we can uh, get a visual of the um, the uh, players that we're going to be putting on our team this year. Right, so Bab, Chuck, Grossman, yeah, and Morrissey, you're coming up as well. Yep, uh, hang on a sec here. Nordstrom, you're going down. Is there anyone down here that I need to bring up? Nope. Uh, Moen, DeHarnay, Shifley, Zabinajad, Carlson, Ribeiro. Yeah, I think that's everybody, right? Is there someone else I can send down? No, that's everybody. Okay, so when I know best lines, all right, what's uh, defense? They're putting Grossman back here. Uh, they're saying to put Josh Morrissey. But the way we're going to have it is it's going to be Backstrom, uh, Ovechkin, Josh Morrissey. All right, now we got to figure out what we want to do with this second line with Stashny. You know, I'm going to scratch the players that we know we're not going to be starting, all right? St uh, Datsuk, Stashny, and Erickson. All right, Ribeiro we can hold on to because Ribeiro's getting old and I don't mind having him on the third line. All right, but we got to figure out what we're going to do with the second line. And then the fourth line, uh, Grossman is down here. No, that's not going to be Grossman. That is going to be Travis Moen. All right, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll fix that later. All right, but we have our first line. Our second line could be Carlson. It could be Shifley and Zabinajad, all right? Ribeiro is there as well. Uh, DeHarnay, uh, Moen, and uh, Ribeiro are uh, used for the fourth and third line, okay? So what I'm looking for here is two second liners, not necessarily two guys who are going to tear it up, but two guys who are definitely going to be second liners by next year, you know? Uh, again, 81, 82 overall, that kind of thing with good potential, okay? Um, Shifley could play on the second line. Same thing with Carlson. I think Zabinajad should play on the third line because he's better defensively than offensively, okay? Uh, so we definitely need at least one second line defense and uh or uh second line uh second line forward i don't know why i said defenseman and uh we have enough defensemen back here for now and goaltenders are fine okay so there's our team for now we got to figure out what to do about our second line so we already uh, in the last video i showed you guys you know uh, the players that we were going after uh pittsburgh philadelphia and phoenix so let's go back to those teams and see if we can make a trade uh, the first player that I want to trade is going to be Pavel Tatsuk because we know we want to get rid of him. He's the big player to get rid of, and he's got a lot of salary cap. Yeah, 6.3 mil. All right, it's not that it's not that much. Like Calgary, we could trade him to. Uh, Colorado, we could trade him to. Uh, Edmonton, we could trade him to. Florida, uh, Montreal, you know, there's uh, New Jersey, there's a new uh, the Islanders. There's plenty of teams here with uh, salary cap available that we could trade him. Okay, so it's not that it's going to be a problem. Uh, it's just that the three teams that we want to trade him to, are they going to have salary cap? So Pittsburgh with Michael Granlins, if I trade him to Pittsburgh, they're going to be way in the hole. So we can't trade him to Pittsburgh. Can't trade him to Phoenix. Philadelphia. Ooh, we can trade him to Philadelphia. So Philadelphia has plenty of salary cap available. 8.6 million, okay? So who was the player on uh, Philadelphia? It was, yeah, Mathieu Lalonde. And there you go. All right, here was the uh, player that I wanted to trade for. So, again, uh, third line score right now, but he would we would put him on the second line this year. We would put him on the second line. Let him get some goals because his shooting category is very good. That wrist shot by itself might be able to get him 20, 25 goals. And then I guarantee you, you give him second line minutes this year, next year he's 84, 85, 86 overall, getting you like 25, 30 goal seasons. All right, guarantee you. So I'd love to get this kind of player. So, Datsuk for Lalonde. Um... So if you look at their trade values, I mean, technically Datsuk's trade value is higher, but I guarantee you this trade would not go through. Why? Because they don't want Pavel Datsuk and they don't want to give up Mathieu Lalonde. Okay, so uh, that trade might not go through. So one more player, was uh, Columbus, could they accept Datsuk? Just because Columbus, uh, let's see if I put on McKinnon. Uh, now, okay, so they're uh, 5.8 in the hole from Datsuk as well. So Philadelphia seems like a really good team to try and get this going. It's just... They have the salary cap, but they do not want to give up Matthew Lalonde, okay? So this could be tough. This could be tough. And I don't want to overextend, right? If they if they don't want to give him up, I'm just going to search around the league for a better team with Datsuk, all right? It's just I don't want to give up a lot for this player, okay? Um, so 
Uh, it's not going to go through. I'm not even going to try and make it go through because I don't want to piss them off. And I know it's not going to go through. So let's find some players and some goalies that they want. All right, goalies matching block. So they would want a Brayton Holpe. But here's the thing about Brayton Holpe. His trade value is the same as these three other players. So why not just trade one of these three other players, right? It's not getting any more with Brayton Holpe. And we don't have to worry about salary cap. So Whitney, St. Arnaud, and Bibo. Let's see these three guys. Uh, Bibo is the... They're all three and a half stars. Bibo has the worst overall player so far. All right, but he's 22 years old. You know what? We'll trade this Bibo guy. All right, so that won't go through now. Why won't that go through? Is it too many players or is it goalies? Let me just try to send a goalie back. Hang on. Goalies. Uh, they want to give up Briz, but he's... Nah, nah, nah. I got to take... Got to take this guy down here, Erickson. Ah, he's got a little bit of the trade value in him, though. I don't like that. Uh, but both for Erickson, I think, would go through, though. So that, I think, helps out the deal just a tad. All right. Um... Uh, you know what, to make this trade go through, what I, what I need to do now, I gotta get a bunch of players from them coming back that, uh, they don't want, alright, so, yeah, this moral guy's perfect, he would, uh, he would count, alright, Mathers, two years, two years, I wanna find guys with one year, this guy, Lear, yeah, one year, there you go, and is there another guy with one year, I thought I saw him, uh, sweats. There you go. All right. So now the trade is a little bit better for them just because they won't say, you know, oh, you got to look at our trade block. There are three players that they do want to give up here. And now I got to find a few, a few players that they want. All right. This trade won't go through the way it is. It, it, ju it just won't. This Lalonde guy, they don't want Dotsuk and Lalonde. So you got to like take half of uh, Dotsuk's trade value and you got to like double Lalonde's trade value. All right. And that's basically how it works. Um, so we got to find some players that they want going back the other way. Uh, skaters matching the block. Let's see. Um, they want defensemen. Yeah, they want defensemen. Uh, thrower, Alsner, Stashny. They do want Paul Stashny. You know what? I might be able to just put in Paul Stashny. Yeah, because they can accept the, uh, the trade value. Remember, Paul Stashny's not going to give us that much. Um, I know you guys are probably thinking that's overextending. It's not. Trust me. I can still see that not going through. Uh, Bibo and Stashny. You know what, hang on. Maybe it might go through the way it is. Hang on. Carlson, Bystrom, Pellick, uh, Zabinijad. You know, we can give up this Pellick guy. We have, uh, Thrower and Bystrom, who are already two defensive prospects for us. Who's better, B Bystrom or Pellick? I know Thrower's four-star. Hang on. Uh, they're both three-and-a-half-star. Uh, yeah, Pellick is, uh, Bystrom is already better. We'll throw, we'll throw this Pellick guy in there as well. All right, and is there another player that I can give up that they want? Zabinijad, Babchuk, and Grossman I need. Uh, Bystrom, Carlson, I need all those guys. No, I need all those guys. Um, I'm just, uh, I, the reason I, I wanted to take up out Paul Stashney for this and see if it goes through. So these three guys, Erickson, Bibo, that could go through. That could, I, I just don't want to piss them off. You know what I mean? I just don't want to th put up a trade and them say no. And then it becomes harder to trade with them because they said no. You know what I mean? I'm going to throw a second round pick because, again, we're going to be a good year, a good team. And usually the second round picks by this far into your GM, they're only three, three and a half star, maybe at the best. All right, so I'll throw in a second and I'll throw in a third as well. Will it go through? I don't know, but oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. I know what you guys are thinking. You're overextending. Watch. I don't think it'll go through. I don't think it'll go through. This Lalonde guy, his trade value and them not wanting to give him up, that's going to be a lot to overcome. So will it happen? No, you see, I question whether you've even looked at our trade block surplus. Philadelphia is totally unwilling to give up what you've asked for, unless you really make it worth our while. I don't think you have. Uh, you've met our trade blocks well enough, but the value on the table is too far off. So they're saying it's even too far off, all right? So that's why I was thinking Paul Stashney. So let me add him back to the deal here. Uh, Paul Stashney. All right, I know you guys are saying it's too much, but it's the salary cap dump. It's the reason that their trade values are not that high. It's because it's a lot of salary. And Philadelphia, they're obviously a team that uh, is rebuilding. You know what I mean? They're not interested in these older players, even though they want Paul Stashney. But Datsuk is eight years older than Stashney. That's the reason. Um... Yeah, I'll leave Pelican, and I'll leave Bubo in there. Uh, the second rounder, should I say? You know, I'm going to leave the second rounder in there as well. Yeah. Paul Stashney, because Paul Stashney's trade value is not that high either. Um, we're just looking. Yep. I mean, it should go. You know what? Let me take out the second. Let me just... I'll add in the third instead of the second. No, no, I'm just, I just don't want to mess with them. I'm just... I, I want this Lalonde guy. Them saying no to me now makes me want, makes me want him. Um... Datsuk, because Bibo we're not going to use, Pelic we're not going to use, and the second is going to be useless, right? So these three are useless. It's just the fact that Paul Stashney and Datsuk, all right? 
Oh, again, I could trade away Datsuk for a first rounder and get a player like Lalonde. I could trade away Stashny for a second, maybe a first rounder and get a player like Lalonde. But the fact is that you got to make that trade and wait four or five years for him to develop. You know what I mean? Uh, the reason his salary cap or his trade value is so high right now is because he's already a developed third liner who's going to be a second liner next year. And they know that. They know that as well. Uh, that's the reason his uh, trade value is so high. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna try it. Paul Stashny, Pavel Datsuk in a second for uh, Machu Lalon. This is a big trade. Will it go through? They still said no. Okay, we're not. No, 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 no. I can't get him. Can't get him. I'm just gonna stop right there. Can't get him. All right, he is way too much. Holy crap, man. I was I honestly 100% thought that that trade would go through, and I thought that everyone was gonna say that you overextend. All right, that Machu Lalon guy. There is no way. There is no. You know. Do I have a first round pick? I then they want a first round. You know what? Last, last, but last but not least, all right. Last but not least, I'm just gonna try it again. Datsuk, a first, and Paul Stashney, all right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Doing it. I want this guy. All right. Where's Stashney? All right. Paul Stashney. Uh, Lalonde. Yep. I'm not gonna add in that uh, goalie. I'm just gonna get the uh, shitty players back. Moro. I'm just gonna get one of them back. All right. Uh, so Lalonde for Datsuk, Stashney, and a first. I kind of just want to try this out just to see if it'll go through, all right? If it goes through, did I overextend? Maybe. But uh, our first round pick this year is not going to be the greatest, all right? And we can use free agency to get uh, young prospects. Yes, this is an overextending trade, but again, Datsuk, he's good right now, but he can retire at any year, so it's an asset that's going to be deleted in less than a year, possibly. So, if you look back at this trade from a year from now, it's basically a first and Stashny for Lalonde, alright? So, it's really not that bad, it's really not that good when you look at it like that. So, this is the last time I'm going to trade for Lalonde, alright boys? A first, Datsuk, and Stashny for uh, Matu Lalonde. Will it go through? No. Alright, no. Holy crap, no, I got I got oh, I want him! I want him so much now! It's just, I can't trade Datsuk to uh, Philadelphia or Pittsburgh or Columbus. There was no other good rookies out there that I wanted. Alright, without trade values, they're freaking skyrocketing. Uh, I want, no, I want this guy. I'm going to give up that uh, Pellet guy as well. Alright, uh, I got to get somebody back. Jesus, Jesus. Lear, all right, if this doesn't go through, we're done. We're done if this doesn't go through, all right? We are done. I, I've, I've wasted 12 minutes yet. I haven't done a trade. Come on. You got to go through. Oh, my. I need to sweeten the value just a touch. Are you, you know what? <sighs> Last thing. <laughs> Last thing, all right? I know you guys are getting so pissed at me right now. I got to do it. I got to do it. Bo! All right, if this doesn't go through now, you know. You know it can't work. You know it can't work, all right? So, goalies. Uh, Erickson, get in there. Will it go through? Yes, it did! Alright, I doubt anyone will think Philadelphia came out on the short end of the stick with this trade. So it's a done deal. Oh my god. I traded away half my team for this Lalonde guy. <laughs> I know what you guys are saying. Oh, he, over he freaking overextended for that shit. Way too much. Way too much, alright? But I don't think I did, boys. Yes, I gave up our first round pick, but again, I, I expect us to be a good team this year. We won the Presidents last year, alright? Pavel Datuk is gone, but he could retire at any year. Yes, he can help the Philadelphia Flyers this year, but still. And uh, Paul Stashney, he was a salary cap dump. You guys can't tell me that Paul Stashney was a good player anymore, right? 84 overall at 5.5 mil. We can find that anywhere. Lalonde, trust me, it's a reload, all right? We just got a guy who's basically a first liner of the future, who's 21 years old. I know you guys are disagreeing with me. I'm already disagreeing with myself a little bit, but trust me, this Mathieu Lalonde guy, he's definitely going to help out our team going forward, all right? He's a player that you can uh, sign long-term. Again, 82 overall sniper, all right, who's still on his minor league contract, 20 years old, 6 foot, 183 pounds, Four star potential, all right, so he's getting better. Uh, this year is going to be his one year where he's kind of iffy. All right, I know you guys are going to look at this year and say he didn't have a great year. Guarantee you, all right, next year or last year, year six, he'll be 84, 85 overall, and he will be tearing it up for the next 15 years in Washington, all right? I know it was a lot, boys, but I was willing to do it. Uh, so now we can have Ovechkin, Backstrom, and uh, what's his name? Morrissey, Lalonde's. Uh, we can even have Shifley and Carlson now with Lalonde, Zabinijad, Ribeiro, and Moen, and, or DeHarnay, and then we need some fourth liners still, okay? So, we can still try some trades here, hang on a sec, we gotta, uh, we still have Louis Erickson that we can trade away, now we can use Louis Erickson on our team, or we can trade him away, it doesn't really matter, alright, so uh, Ribeiro we're not gonna trade away, Moen, nope. 
So Louis Erickson's trade value, it is still decent. Yeah, we can still trade him away. All right, uh, so Louis Erickson. So let's go through the teams. Let's find a team that first can afford him and second uh, can uh, deal with his salary cap, all right? Uh, Edmonton can afford him and deal with the salary cap. Do they want to give up anyone special here that's young? Uh, Shinker, they want to give up Hunter Shinkaruk. Yeah, they want to give up Hunter Shinkaruk. I guess it's because they have a full team already. One year left on his deal, so you re-sign him next year. Playmaker, he's not going to be ready to go, but he's a player of the future for us. We need forwards of the future. You know what? That might just be a right thing to do. Hunter Shinkaruk uh, for Louis Erickson, all right? That would bolster their freaking team. But if I do that, if I do that, and you know what? I'll remember that. I'll remember. It's just if I do that, then we are a weak team this year because Hunter Shinkaruk is not ready to go. You know what I mean? So we need to find a player who, again, is like Lalonde. It's hard to find, I know, but it is possible. Danny Heatley, no. Uh, Montreal, yeah, Montreal, no, nope, they can't handle it. Louis, uh, I got a, no, 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 salary cap. Uh, New Jersey, they got nobody. The Islanders, let's see. Uh, Griffin Reinhardt, defenseman, I don't need defenseman. No, we don't need defenseman. Uh, Rangers, I want to get a forward for this guy. Uh, Tatiak, no. He was that guy who had a four green star potential. Yeah, he is. Ooh, pretty good forward of the future. Who is Cry Kreider? It was Kreider. How good is Kreider? Nah, nah, he's the same as Lalonde. There's no way we'll get Kreider. And they don't want him. Gotta find a team that wants Erickson. San Jose, nah, they don't have any salary cap available, basically. Uh, nah, they got no salary cap available. And they don't really have any players. No. Nope. Uh, St. Louis, no. Tampa, Toronto. Toronto. Let's see. Do they have any forwards that we can maybe steal from Toronto here? Uh, JVR for another two years. They don't want to give him up, though. Kadri for another two years. How good is Nazim Kadri? Uh, 83, 90 passing. Nah, nah, nah. We already have a Mark Shifley. We already have a Carlson. That's basically the same player. All right, we need somebody who can score some goals for us. Uh, skaters, let's see. Anyone in here? Nope. All right, so the basically the teams that want Louis Erickson, um, it makes sense. You know, they want to give up rookies who really can't, uh, help out their team this year. You know what I mean? Uh, just let me go through again. There was a team there. Let me find a team that has like less than one mil that want to give them up. Uh, well, it was Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh. How much? No, they can't afford him either. All right. So, you know what? I think that Hunter Shinkrook trade. I mean, we could hold on to Louis. I just, you know what? Maybe I should hold on to Louis Erickson. 31 years old. He can still score some goals for us. You know what? I know what you guys are thinking. Trade him for Hunter Shinkrook. We do that and we are going into rebuild zone. You know what I mean? We're no longer retooling. We are rebuilding. So, you know what? This video is kind of going long. Let me uh, end it here. I wouldn't mind starting the simulation in the next video, but let's just edit the line so that you guys can take a look at it. And then we can decide if we want to make that trade Hunter Shinkaruk for uh, uh, Louis Erickson. All right. But remember, if we do that, we're going into rebuild mode and I'm still, I still want to reload. I still want to have a really good year where we can win our division, not necessarily the president's trophy, but we can still win our division. All right. So hang on one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Yeah, seven defensemen because Morrissey is, is uh, up top. All right. And forwards, is there anyone? Lear, you shouldn't be up there. Morrow, you shouldn't be up there. Uh, I do not I do need some uh, fourth liners still. So Nordstrom, you can come up. Morrow, you can go down. Yeah, that's good enough. So we have enough NHLers that are ready to go. All right. Uh, so the way it's going to look, Grossman, you're down here. I don't want Grossman in here. It's got to be Morrissey. All right, and then Grossman on the points. All right, so I'm not going to do the power play lines. We're not actually doing the lines right now. I just want to look at it five on five. Do you think with the team that I have right here, let me just edit the lines, that we can make the playoffs with this team, all right? Uh, Lou Erickson on the left side, all right? Uh, Lalonde is going to be on the uh, is on the right side. Is he left-handed? He's right-handed. You know what? I'm going to give Lalonde his wing. We're going to put Lou Erickson on the, uh, the right because he's left-handed. I know that doesn't matter. But uh, I just want Lalonde to play his position. Uh, now, who should be the uh, center? Should it be Ribeiro for Louis Erickson and Lalonde? Or should we give Carlson the chance? Because Carlson's got passing of 92. Offensive awareness of uh, 85. All right, He's decent. And if we play him on the second line, he'll be better for next year. But Ribeiro is more established. Now, his, puck, or his passing is not as high as Carlson. But overall, he's more rounded. You know what I mean? So, Mike Ribeiro may help Lalonde and Erickson get more points than a Carlson would. You know what I mean? So, do we put Ribeiro on the second line or... Or Carlson, all right, and then the third line can be Shifley, Zabinijad, and uh, Ribeiro or Carlson, and then the fourth line could be Nordstrom, Moen, and uh, DeHarnay. So looking at this team right here, can we make the playoffs? I think we can, all right, especially if this first line does good, just because we have an elite goalie and we have a very good defensive core, 
Even with Grossman and Babchuk, our top four are good enough. You know what I mean? Are we a President's Trophy winning team? Maybe, but uh, I don't think so. All right, but I still do think we are a playoff team. But here's the question. Can we trade away Louis Erickson for Hunter Shinkarook? All right, move up Mark Shifley. All right, move up uh, Nordstrom and uh, play uh, Hunter Shinkarook on the third line or send him down to the minors. Because remember, he is 70 overall. He is not NHL ready this year. We are going into a rebuild stage if we trade uh, Louis Erickson for Hunter Shinkarook. Yeah, it would help us out for the future, but then again, it would hurt us right now because right now, Louis Erickson is an 85 overall sniper. He is helping out our team right now. And even though he's making 6 mil, we can easily trade him if we give him the ice time. He won't get any worse because he's only 30 years old, okay? So let me know what you think about our lines. Let me know if we can trade Louis Erickson. I don't think we should. I think we should hold on to him, go to the All-Star break, and then figure out Hunter Shinkrook is just not good enough yet in my books. All right, but we've only made one trade. I know we traded away Stashny and Datsuk. All right, uh, but I really like this Lalonde guy. All right, so let me know how you think our lineups, uh, uh, our lineups work and if we need to make one more trade just to fill in somewhere. But I think this team will be okay if we just start the regular season. All right, boys, so I will see you in the next video.